Hello friend, in this video I am going to discuss about how to combine elements in an array using seesaw.net. So suppose if user uh, enter a string type of variable str and uh, this is array and here this is the all element and after compiling this it all merge and the output display uh, Sony now next uh, that display uh, Samsung and here no double quote so if user want then they he, uh, he she can eliminate or remove a uh, comma and uh, this is the output or display so here uh, this is the visual studio so we can achieve this by two ways the first is or uh, first uh, by taking a string time variable str and using join method so if you take the cursor on the join method so here you can see the first uh, part is uh, a separator next is uh, value and index and count so it has uh, four parameter and about the join method a uh, string consists of a uh, uh, string that consists of a string value delimited separated uh, string so it is uh, used to join the string and uh, if the string is empty it count zero so let's uh, run the first code first and uh, here you can see iPhone, Nokia, Samsung it all combined so if you give at here comma then uh, the output display or uh, a string with comma if you don't give then it will or uh, there is a space then the output display iPhone, a space, Nokia, Samsung and Sony so here you can see this all uh, displaying and uh, here I have taken this all element and uh, a string type variable st so there is a space and a string or uh, tab so a string this is the class has the join method and it is used to join the strings the first uh, parameter is for a string next uh, sorry so first parameter is for a separator next for a string and here this is a start index so array index start from 0 and uh, total count 1 2 3 4 so I have given the 4 if you want to display only 3 iPhone Nokia Samsung then you should give add here 3 and the output to that display iPhone, Nokia, Samsung or only these three because this is uh, for counting and uh, when that all process that go to tab and here console.writeline that display tab into the output screen so tab value it's a display so this is the first way let's uh, comment this one and uh, here I am going to uncomment and this time I am using the list and here where type variable v1 new list and here about the list uh, I have taken a string type variable and this all elements inside there Nokia Samsung iPhone and a string str a string so this is the class dot join so joining the a string and uh, here this is the parameter separator a string values so this is the separator and a string values so here separator you can use a space and uh, this is the string value v1 this all and uh, join method is used to join a strings and after this processing that display str value now let's uh, run and see the output so here you can see Nokia Samsung iPhone it's a display 
so this is the use of a join method and this is the used this is the way we can or uh, combine or uh, array elements by using sysall.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you